The superinguinal fascia iliaca block provides analgesia to the hip by blocking the obturator, femoral, and lateral femoral cutaneous nerves. The superinguinal approach is preferred to infrainguinal since local anesthetic below the inguinal ligament rarely blocks the obturator nerve and only occasionally blocks the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. The anterior superior iliac spine is easily palpable in most patients and will start by placing a linear probe over the ASIS. The iliacus muscle lies adjacent to the ASIS and we can easily identify it by sliding medial just off of the bone. Overlying the iliacus muscle, we have the internal oblique muscle cephalad and sartorius muscle caudad. This view is described as looking like a bow tie. Our aim is to place local anesthetic below the fascia of the iliacus muscle and we'll inject in a caudal to cranial direction. I'm right-handed, so for a right-sided fascia iliaca block, I'll stand on the right side of the patient, and for a left-sided block, I'll stand on the right side but reach over to the left so that my right hand is needling in a caudal to cranial direction while my left hand holds the probe. I found if we aim for the fascial plane between iliacus and internal oblique on our first pass, our first injection is likely to be intramuscular. For this reason, I'll usually aim for the peak of the iliacus muscle or the fascial plane between iliacus and sartorius and hydrodissect my way up. The fascial plane begins to unzipper when we test with saline. As we continue to inject, notice that the puddle of local anesthetic expands and contracts. This indicates that we're in a true fascial plane. If we don't see this motion or the muscles start to look shreddy, it's likely that we have an intramuscular injection and our block won't work. Another indicator to confirm that you're in the correct fascial plane is to locate the deep circumflex iliac artery. The DCIA lies immediately above our fascial plane target and we'll see it lift as we inject between iliacus and internal oblique. In total, we'll inject about 40 mLs of dilute local anesthetic while being mindful of the maximum dose of local your patient can safely receive.